Uh, welcome to Carols Among the Gum Trees, hosted by Engadine Congregational Church. My name's James. Uh, we're coming to you a bit differently this year, but this year's been different, hasn't it? And my guess is that at the end of this year, we all really need to hear some good news. And the message of Christmas that the Bible brings us is that really good news. During our time together, we're going to have some songs for the kids from our friend Colin Buchanan. We'll have a Bible reading and a short talk. And of course, we've got heaps of carols for you to sing along to or enjoy listening to as well. Our hope is that through them all, that you would be struck by and encouraged by the really good news of Christmas. Thanks for tuning in and joining with us.
They see me. I'm, I'm being embarrassed. I just oh. Hello, Colin here at Carol's Under the Gum Trees, and uh, I'm a bit embarrassed. I, uh, I, uh, I know it's Christmas, and that's not a Christmas hat. I just wonder if if there's any Christmas hats around here. I, look, I'll just have a little look and see if I can find one. Looking. <laughs> Looking, looking. No, it's no good. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes. You know, at Christmas, we remember the story of the King Jesus being born. And so I want to sing a song about that. And there's actions. You can help me. Under the gum trees. All right. In a stable. That's the action. Down in Bethlehem, Jesus Christ was born born a baby in a stable down in Bethlehem Jesus Christ was born in a stable down in Bethlehem Jesus Christ was born then you do this the King and the Savior and the Lord of Lords then you go glory glory be to Jesus glory glory be to Jesus glory glory be to Jesus the King and the Savior and the Lord of Lords now you leave out a line the stable leave that out so you have to leave out the word so it goes in a down in Bethlehem Jesus Christ was born in a down in Bethlehem. Jesus Christ was born in a down in Bethlehem. Jesus Christ was born, the King and the Saviour and the Lord of Lords. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Try glory, glory be to Jesus. Glory, glory be to Jesus, the King and the Saviour and the Lord of Lords. All right, now you leave out the first two in a down in Jesus Christ was born in a down in. Jesus Christ was born in a down in. Jesus Christ was born, the King and the 
Saviour, Saviour, and the Lord of Lords. <laughs> glory, glory be to Jesus. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Glory, glory be to Jesus, the King and the Saviour and the Lord of Lords. Now you leave out three. In a, down in, in a, down in, in a, down in. The King and the Saviour and the Lord of Lords. Glory, glory be to Jesus. We know this bit. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Glory, glory be to Jesus. The King and the Saviour and the Lord of Lords. Now we leave out, leave out the next bit. In a, down in. In a, down in. In a, down in. And the, and the, glory, glory be to Jesus, glory, glory be to Jesus, glory, glory be to Jesus, and the, and the, <laughs> now we leave out all the bits, in a, down in, in a, down in, in a, down in, the, and the, and the <laughs> the and the and the <laughs> have we finished no because we're going to do it all as fast as we can in a stable down in Bethlehem. Jesus Christ was born in a stable down in Bethlehem. Jesus Christ was born in a stable down in Bethlehem. Jesus Christ was born the King and the Saviour and the Lord of Lords. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Glory, glory be to Jesus. Glory, glory be to Jesus. The King and the Saviour and the Lord of Lords. Hooray! Well done. Now, can I find another Christmas hat? Have a, have a look. Let me see.
Close to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping the sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. No. I found another, I found another Christmas hat, I found another Christmas hat, I found another Christmas, oh wait, oh it's that one again, I just, actually there's one over there, run around, run around, find the hat, find the hat, run back, run back, <laughs> that was the long way, I found a Christmas hat, just a minute, oh this is ridiculous. A song about the very first Christmas. <gasps> Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem, Bethlehem. All right, here we go. We go, Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem. What? Bethlehem, <laughs> Bethlehem. Well, Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem on that very first Christmas. The baby Jesus born that night, <laughs> born that night, born that night. Well, the baby Jesus born that night on that very first Christmas, wise men come to worship him like this. Worship him, worship him. Well, the wise men come to worship him 
on that very first Christmas. Go da 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 Well, the shepherds told that the king is born. Crown, the king is born. The king is born. Well, the shepherds told that the king is born. On that very first Christmas, the angels singing, Glory to God! Glory to God! Glory to God! The angels singing, Glory to God! On that very first Christmas, go da 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 Mary and Joseph go to Bethlehem, the baby Jesus born that night. The wise men come to worship him, the shepherds told that the king is born, the angels singing, glory to God, on that very first Christmas. One, a two, I buckled my shoe, go da da da. Da 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 I'm hiding behind the tree. Time for the next bit of carols under the gum trees. Quick. Oh. <laughs> no. I'm doing something for you guys. Come here. Come here. You can help. <laughs> This is, um, I can't believe it. While I'm doing carols under the, uh, under the gum trees, Mrs. Murray just walked along. So you got to- do, as a good neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you do the actions. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, what, what uh, now we got to work out a song. What's the song with actions? Uh, uh, if it's Christmas and you know it. If it's Christmas and you know it. Wait, you haven't got your Christmas hat on. No. Wait, wait, wait. I've, if only I could find a, a Christmas hat here and that, hey, it's perfect. Nice. There's your Christmas hat. My and well. I've <laughs> the Christmas hat as well. You're gonna pull it, that's it. Yeah, Ready? Yeah. If it's Christmas and you know it, clap your hands. If it's Christmas and you know it, clap your hands. If it's Christmas and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If it's Christmas and you know it, clap your hands. If it's Christmas and you know it, stomp your feet. If it's Christmas and you know it, stomp your feet. If it's Christmas and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If it's Christmas and you know it, stomp your feet. What's next? If it's Christmas and you know it, run up to that tree and back. If it's Christmas and you know it, run up to that tree and back. Just imagine, use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she wouldn't do it. If it's Christmas and you know it, then you really ought to show it. Different action. If it's Christmas and you know it, do a cartwheel. Jump in the air. With Whatever. no cartwheels? <laughs> no. Okay, if it's Christmas and you know it, give me the hat and go for your walk. Okay. Have a wonderful Christmas. And Thank tell me, you. what's the most important thing about Christmas, Mrs. Murray? The most important thing is Jesus. Yes. Knowing him, loving him, following him. He is the best. Hooray. Thank you. You're free to go on your walk. Okay, see ya. Thank you. I thought that she actually was here. Just miss, under the Christmas tree for the carols. All right. Now I've got to think about the next song.
All right, last song for Colin. And I found another Christmas hat. <whistles> What's that one doing here? Ah, what do you think? Okay, well, Jesus is the most important part of Christmas. And this is a song about the story of Christmas. All right. In fact, it's the story of life. All right, here we go. The world belongs to God. We spoke. Wait, wait. He spoke, not we spoke. That's the wrong line. The world belonged to God. He spoke and there it was. Though it was very good. It all went bad because, like that, the man that God had made and the woman there with him turned their back on God to get a deadly taste of sin. But Jesus saves, Jesus saves, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the saviour, you can come to him today. Hey, Jesus saves, Jesus saves people from their sin. You will find forgiveness when you put your trust in him. Whistle. Well, if you look around, you'll see how sin has spread. Turning light to dark and living things to dead. But God still rules the world. He always had a plan to send his son to save us in the likeness of a man. So Jesus saves, Jesus saves, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the saviour. You can come to him today. Hey, Jesus saves, Jesus saves people from their sin. You will find forgiveness when you put your trust in him. Laugh, ready? <laughs> well, if you come to God, you still have time, you know. He'll wash your sinful heart and make it white as snow. Come taste eternal life and death will have no sting. Cause all who trust in Jesus are the children of the King. So sing. Jesus saves, Jesus saves, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the saviour, you can come to him today. Hey! Jesus saves, Jesus saves people from their sin. You will find forgiveness when you put your trust in him, they said. You will find forgiveness when you put your trust in him. Ding, 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 ding. You will find forgiveness when you put your trust in him. How precious. That's the precious message of Christmas. Jesus, our King. Jesus, our Saviour. All right, time to say goodbye, but I have one special Christmas hat. Um, all right, it's just down here. I think I've got, excuse me. Yes, okay. Okay, here I come. Don't need the guitar anymore. It's the special Christmas hat. Okay. And here it is. <laughs> have a wonderful Christmas. Remember, Jesus is the most important one about Christmas and about everything. Bye. Do you like my, I said, do you like my Christmas hat? It's, uh, <laughs> bye. It's a bit hard to see. It's hard to see. Not sure where to go. Uh, that way. Actually, no, that way. Luke chapter 2 verses 8 to 20 And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. 
Today, in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. One of the helpful ways of figuring out what kind of year it's been, uh, what have been the big news items, what's occupied people's minds and conversations, is the word of the year competitions run by the different dictionaries. The words that they choose give us a sense of what's been important, what's been significant in that particular year. And this year's been no different. I'm sure you can guess what some of these words are gonna be. For 2020, Collins Dictionary went with lockdown as their word of the year. The choice of the Australian National Dictionary Centre was ISO. Oxford Dictionaries, and I reckon this was a bit of a cop out, but anyway, they decided to include dozens of 2020 words, citing the fact that it had been an unprecedented year. Interestingly, and sadly in a way, coronavirus was Oxford's children's word of the year. At least in part because kids had used the word so often in their creative writing tasks. I found the choice of Macquarie Dictionary to be particularly interesting because they picked doom scrolling as their overall word of the year for 2020. Doom scrolling is the practice of continuing to read news feeds online or on social media despite the fact that the news is predominantly negative and often upsetting. And you can see why it was chosen. We've had drought followed by fire, followed by floods, and then of course, COVID-19, which we're still feeling the effects of today and we're told will be for years to come. There's been so much negative and upsetting news throughout this past year. And it seems as though many of us are just taking it in more and more. And so I reckon this Christmas, what we're in need of is some good news, don't you? Some really good news. We've had enough doom scrolling for one year and the Christmas message that the Bible gives us is that really good news that we all need to hear. Let me show you what I mean. Have a listen to what the angel said to the shepherds on that first Christmas all those years ago. There they were, out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks at night, probably thinking that the most they'd have to contend with was some wayward sheep, or perhaps more seriously, a predator attacking their flock. When out of the blue, they get a whole lot more than they'd bargained for. An angel from God appears, and we're told the shepherds, they're terrified. Of course they were. Put yourself in their shoes, or perhaps their sandals. Wouldn't you be terrified? But interestingly, the angel comes with a message not to confirm them in their fear or to make their fear worse. There's no doom scrolling to engage in here. The angel speaks a message of good news and great joy. Verse 10, but the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. I wonder what good news you'd like to hear at the moment. What would bring you great joy? Perhaps an announcement that a COVID vaccine is available and ready to go here for us in Australia. 
some kind of guarantee that we won't face those horrific bushfires again this summer. That your job is safe and the economy is strong. That international travel is back on again. Well, as good and as joyful as all that would be, the message from the angel is even better than that. What is this good news of great joy that the angel brings, not just to these shepherds, but to all people? Have a listen, because it really is an amazing message. The good news that will cause great joy is this, verse 11. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. A birth has occurred. Now, news of a birth is almost always received as good news and seen as an occasion for great joy. But there are some births that particularly seem to have a lot attached to them. I remember a few years back, back in 2013, all the baby mania and the frenzy that was surrounding the birth of George to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Will and Kate, because in that event, Prince George became third in the line of succession to the British throne, and therefore he's expected to one day become king. So his birth, it was a big deal. It was massive at the time. Well, here's news of the birth of another king. In fact, the king of kings. That's what that word Messiah means. It sometimes gets translated as Christ, as in Jesus Christ. The Christ, the Messiah, was the king who would one day come in fulfilment of ancient promises to speak and to act for God himself. It's a prestigious title. This child that's been born is being described in the highest possible terms. People had been waiting for his arrival for centuries and were looking forward to him coming with great anticipation. And the angel's message is that now he's here. The other two ways that the angel describes this baby also help us to see more of who he is and how we're to respond to him. As the Messiah, the Christ, this one that's been born is also the Lord. The angel says he is the Messiah, the Lord. That is, he's the ruler, the master, the boss, the one true world leader. And so we're to acknowledge that that's the case. Most of us live most of our lives as if we're the ones in charge. We make the decisions. We live the way we want. But if this one that's been born is the Lord, as the angel says he is, if he's the true leader, he's the one who calls the shots. He's actually the one in charge, not us. And so we need to acknowledge that, to say, Jesus, I thought I was in charge, but now I realise that you're the one who's really in charge. That can be a really hard thing to do, to acknowledge that and to live that way because of what we're like. But as we see more and more of what Jesus is like, who he really is and all that he's done for us, we see that it's actually the best decision we could ever make and the very best way to live, to acknowledge that he really is the Lord, the ruler, the leader, the one in charge. Secondly, as well as being the Lord, Jesus as the Messiah, the Christ, is also the Saviour. The angel says, today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. A number of years back when my family were on holidays at Newcastle, we went to the beach, uh, as we did most days when we holidayed with my grandparents up there. And this particular day, my dad got caught in a rip out in the ocean, and he was really struggling. And my sister and then some lifesavers were able to rescue him. I don't know what I was doing at the time. If Jesus comes as saviour, it's because we're in need of saving. If he comes as a rescuer, it's because we're in need of rescue. Many of us don't like to think of ourselves as being in need of anything. We don't like to ask for help. We're independent. We like being self-sufficient. But when it comes to our relationship with God, we all need help. We all need rescue, saving. 
because we haven't always treated God the way that we should. And we haven't always treated others the way that we should either. And yet in this baby that's been born in Jesus, the angel tells us that God has given us exactly what we need, a saviour, a rescuer. And so the response is to entrust ourselves to him, to depend on him and his rescue, just like my dad did as he entrusted himself to my sister and then to the lifesavers on that day all those years ago. For us to say, Jesus, I need you. I trust you so that I can be saved, so that I can be rescued. At the time of Jesus, at the time of the angel's message rather, Jesus doesn't look a whole lot like a Lord or a saviour, does he? <laughs> the strange sign that the angel gives to the shepherds is that they will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. He can't even dress himself yet. And his bed is normally used as an animal's feeding trough. The way in which he shows himself more fully to be the Lord and the Saviour is even stranger still. Dying on a cross and then rising again from the dead. But this is the message that comes from God through the angel to those shepherds on this night so many years ago. That today we now celebrate as Christmas Day. A saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And for all who acknowledge him as the Lord and trust him as saviour, that brings great joy because it's the really good news of Christmas.
of Orient Hop Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain moor and mountain Following yonder star Oh, star of wonder, star of light Star with royal beauty bright Westward leading still proceed Let all 
Thanks for joining with us this year at our Carols Among the Gum Trees. We hope you've enjoyed the opportunity to hear about and think about the really good news about Christmas. If you'd like to find out more about the good news, please get in touch with us. You can do that by heading to our church website, www.econg.org.au, or you can join us this Friday as we celebrate Christmas together. That'll be at 8.30 and we're at 28 Waratah Road, Engadine. Or let us know if you need to join us online. Thanks for joining with us this year for Carols Among the Gum Trees. One, two, three. We 